world. Hey YouTube, it's Celeste here. I hope that you're doing well. I hope you've had a great week. Can you believe that it is the middle of January? Where has the year gone already? It's only two weeks. Wow. I don't know about you, but things are getting busy. Things are getting a little bit crazy. Did you make some New Year's resolutions? Did you make some goals? How are they going for you? Now, I don't know about you, but my life is getting a little bit crazy. It's getting a little bit busy and I'm feeling a little bit distracted from some of the goals that I made for myself. Are you feeling the same way? I'm sure you are. There really is never a perfect season or the perfect time or the perfect day or even the right time to start something. There will never be perfect conditions. In fact, even when you do start something, you then have to deal with the distractions. Who knows what you're facing right now? Maybe you're working a 50 to 60 hour work week. Maybe you have a family emergency that you're dealing with right now. Maybe the car is broken down and you don't even know how you're getting around. If it's not that, well then you're dealing with injury. Maybe you sprained an ankle or you tore a ligament. Maybe you've got a headache, you're dealing with the head cold. If you're not dealing with that, you're dealing with an empty fridge or a dirty home. Or hey, the latest season of The Punisher has come out and you wanna watch that. <laughs> Whatever it is that's on Netflix that is taking up your time, you have that to deal with as a distraction. I think distractions is something we will always have to face. Distractions will always be a part of our lives and I think the sooner we embrace that idea, the better it will be for us because if we keep coming up with this idea of the perfect time and the perfect season and the right week and the right day and just the conditions and the structure of our lives to be perfect before goals or before progress comes, I think we'll be waiting a long time. So to all of you thinking, what do we do with our goals and our dreams when life happens, when distractions happen? What do we do? I think firstly, what we need to do is that we need to reevaluate our goals. We need to ask ourselves, how realistic are they? For some of us, we had a goal of eating salad two times a day. Come on now, how realistic really is that? For some of you, you had a goal of going to the gym every day on top of every other responsibility that you have. Think about it. How realistic is that for you? There could be so many other things. Maybe it's financially. You had a goal of putting away 90 or 80% of your paycheck to savings or to some sort of goal that you have. Think about it. In the city that you live in, how realistic is that? second thought I had was that we need to create some non-negotiable actions for ourselves. What I mean by non-negotiable actions is that you create some points in your week, some, some measurable actions that need to take place regardless that it is a non-negotiable. They need to happen and you can relate this to everything whether it be maybe your goal or your resolution was to do with business or to do with finances or your health, fitness, Maybe you just need to take care of yourself more this year. If that's the case, well, you need to go to that, you know, that massage appointment. You need to go get your hair done. That is a non-negotiable. That doesn't get left to the wayside. You go and take care of yourself. For some of you people, it's a non-negotiable that maybe, you know, you're, you're in the gym or you're doing yoga or you're doing Zumba, whatever it is that you do. You're doing that two times a week. It's a non-negotiable. Maybe it's nutrition. For me, it's a non-negotiable that I get my protein in every day. Carbohydrates and fats, whatever. <laughs> it's a non-negotiable that I get my protein in. Maybe it's to do with finances. It's a non-negotiable that you have a minimum amount that you're setting aside for an investment or savings or paying off debt, whatever. Make some things for yourself that are a non-negotiable. The third thought I had is don't be so hard on yourself. You are a human being. We are imperfect. We are not perfect. We are human and we kind of have to allow ourselves to make mistakes sometimes. And yes, life is going to throw punches at us. Work will get difficult. Family life will get hard at times. And there comes a point where sometimes you just have to stop being so hard on yourself. Hey, it's the middle of January. We have the rest of the year to keep going for those goals and those dreams that we have. So I just wanna encourage you with those things. 
check your goals, are they realistic? Maybe make some non-negotiable actions in your week. And third thing is don't be so hard on yourself. But hey, next week, come with me. We're going to um, come to work with me and uh, you get to see the Watoto Children's Choir. So I hope you enjoy it and I'll see you next week. Peace and love.